What's good, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's, what's going on? What's up with you guys, man? Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. <laughs> pretty good, bro. How was your guys weekend? Good, good, man. Mine was straight. Mine was straight. Yeah, mine was too, man. You know, working. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tired, bro. Yeah. So, what did you guys do this weekend? Let's see. Relaxed. I went to Buffalo Wild Wings this weekend. Did you guys watch the fight? Nah, nah. I didn't need it, bro. But <laughs> I saw the highlights, though. No, I was trying to um, look it up, free streaming. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I found it, it was already over. Yeah, 30 dude. seconds. We can Actually, I it. forgot the fight. It was fight night, dude. And then when I was driving to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, I was like, damn, the fight's on right now. It's going to be packed. We're going to wait like over an hour for, for a seat. But yeah. then. As soon as I find out, oh, fight's over. But all right, we good. <laughs> 40 seconds. Isn't that crazy, though? Like the people who pay all that money to go there, and then you get a 40 second fight? Well, I mean, the cool thing is that there's like 15 to 20 fights before that. Yeah. 15 fights. You know what I get about the fights, though. Nah, that's, <laughs> no, 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 the cards good, man. Holly Holm. That's, that's, that's all I got. Mean. That's all I got, though. Yeah, but you know, people. Well, they're gonna they go see the main event, bro. Well, yeah, dude, you know so many famous people. Yeah. Like, do you guys notice notice when there's boxing matches, like the whole undercard, like the crowd, there's all this, a lot of the seats are like empty. Yeah, yeah, you know, boxing. Ah, yeah. For all the boxing fans, sorry, but it's all mafia, bro. <laughs> UFC, I don't, I think that's the only sport that money's not involved. I say that because I would not. I get paid to right. get my ass beat by somebody else. I'm not so gonna get an extra ten thousand to get a meat to my face. Yeah. So it's one thing just to take a, eat a couple punches, but yeah, yeah I'll eat some was, punches for ten, <laughs> couple, ten thousand. Yeah, but I ain't taking no <laughs> knees and elbows to the face. Yeah. No, I ain't eating those, bro. Fucking <laughs> yeah, crazy, bro. But my nose gonna be like all oh, cricket to the side. <laughs> like nah. No. I'm, I'm good, good, I'm good. Like, like how you did, homeboy? Yeah, he did, you see, that's crazy. He doesn't even fight no more. Yeah. Dude is rich. He has his own whiskey, which I still want to try. Uh, you know, it's, he's... And he's a made man, bro. Like, if you see his story, he was on welfare. He was... He had no job. So... He's stuck with fighting, bro. He was fighting in the gym. I seen his story. <coughs> His wife, his wife supported with him, him bro. Stuck with him, bro. Like, really? welfare, he owed money to you know. This is McGregor. Yeah, McGregor, McGregor bro. He, the person he is now, it's crazy. Five, six years ago, maybe on welfare, he fought like you know in those. I don't want to say cheap division, but in the lower divisions, yeah. Uh, he finally got a chance to go up to uh to the UFC, to UFC bro. He's fighting one of the cage matches. Yeah, in his, his first. Basement. His first uh, paycheck, I think, was only 60 G, which is a lot. Nice. But, dude, now, for this fight, supposedly 80 mil. 80 million, bro. I heard 40, bro. But still, you know, even if it's 80 or 40, you just made that in 40 let say, seconds. Let me say something. <laughs> that's a million, bro. Exactly. Like, that's that's what that's one million, bro. I'm about to take that. No, like I said, yeah. whether it was 80 or 40, it don't matter. You just made all that in 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. We'll see. That's what I'm trying to get at. Bro, I'm over here making 15 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say that. You have to stay consistent and motivated with what you want to do. Yeah. Because look where you got them, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, this whole thing of being motivated, you could. <clears throat> there's, seven, there's different types, I believe. There's people that are self-motivated, not trying to, you know. I feel that I'm there. Yeah. Like me, I don't need people to motivate me. Yes, I watch motivational videos and stuff like that. But it's like I'm, everybody, bro. I'm self motivated, bro. Like, if I'm feeling down, I know how to get myself up. I'm yeah. not even feeling down until, or until someone comes around and hey, bro, what's going on? I'm not like that. You know, yeah. like this whole thing with this podcast, all of, all three of us. Yeah. We, what can you say? We. We motivated each other. I think this was a more of a group motivation than a single, you know? Yeah. Like you, like, what's your motivation for this, dude? For me, 
man, I, I feel like even just for this podcast alone, for me, it's kind of like, I love the fact that all three of us come from three different places, three different stories, three different belief systems. Um, but even in that, we're, that we, we, we can all, be the, yeah, we could be on the same page. We're still all friends at the yeah. end of the day. And, and either one of my, none of my opinions have ever affected you. None of your opinion, opinions have ever affected me. And I feel like that's good for other people to hear because I think we have this this idea that like if you don't believe the same thing then you can't get along and I don't I don't think that's not yeah, yeah, dude and it's you know like how you said you know it goes back to how exactly what you said like I'm not gonna say my political belief but just say if I was a Democrat you were a Republican mm -hmm. we grew up together that's not gonna stop me from talking to you yeah, it shouldn't that's be like that either, that's either way. Yeah. And that's what I, this, this, what I see this podcast as is, you know, a lot of people do stuff for money, thinking they're going to get money off of it. Yeah. And we're doing this because we actually enjoy our company. Yeah. We're not sure with the world. Yeah. You don't know. And we actually have these kind of conversations so <laughs> all the time, you know. <laughs> and it's not like we have like a little famous background, like, you know, like YouTube and stuff. Like we, like right now, all three of us have regular jobs. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're not we're not looking at this as a getaway. Yeah. But it's not a getaway with money, but a getaway of just everything. Nine to five. Nine to five. Right. You know, we come here. We talk to each other, having a good time. Yeah. After this, we go ahead and edit, and do whatever. It's like a stress reliever, bro. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. like the gym, you know. But what what's your biggest motivation, bro? Just in life in general, and how do you? My questions to you are: your biggest motivation in life? What keeps you motivated to chase that? I think my biggest motivation in life, and I mean, you know, obviously, you guys probably know this, but people listening don't know this. Mm. Is I, you know, I love music, man. That's like my, that's my go-to. That's what I grew up doing, playing music, writing music, the whole nine. And I feel like, man, if there was ever a chance of me like ever getting to do that as a profession, oh my gosh, I'd take that in a heartbeat. You mm -hmm. know, even if like you were saying, even if it was for like less pay of what I'm ever what I'm making now. In a heartbeat, man, because that's what I love to do. You know? That's what you love. <laughs> uh, even, and that's in any form. Like, you know, I play at church, I play weddings, whatever, banquets, doesn't matter. But for me, man, I, I love music. That's one of my biggest motivations. That's my, that's one of my stress relievers. Like, man, if I've had a, a long day, man, I'll just come in here and play guitar or yeah. play some keys or something. I'm like, yeah. Relax myself. But. Yeah. That's one. Of, that's one of my biggest motivations, man. Well, the good thing is that you're <coughs> constantly doing it, bro. Yeah. You know, I've never stopped. Even even with getting a normal job, because I've seen plenty of people say, "Hey, like, uh, you, you got to grow up, or you got to like get a job, and like, that means you cut it people, out." But those people, whether they're younger or older, I believe that they're just trying to put you down. Yeah. or any one of us three down, or anybody in general. Yeah. When you encounter somebody that says stuff like that, it's because they're not, how I say, self-motivated, and they're not chasing their dreams. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the way I see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? How it's many like people it's have told me, why do you go to the gym every day? I get the same thing, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not into fitness like he is, but you know, it's something I learned to love, like before, like say during high school, I didn't care about working out, but I was like, because I have never been like, self-conscious of like how I look or whatever. Yeah. But you know, ever since I started working out, you know what, you I'm seeing a little progress. Or you, you know what people, like how I tell him, your goals are different from mine when it comes to fitness world. Yeah. So a lot of people could be, like how I tell you bro, people, oh, where do you go? Where do you do this? I have my reason. Yes, I do want to get paid, yes. You know everything in between, but that's a stress reliever. Yeah. I could go to work for 14 hours, get home, eat, shower, go to the gym. I feel like I never worked those 14 hours. Yeah. Because I love doing it. I love, I love lifting heavy ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And that was the same for me, man. Like the job that I was working before I was here, and I was working <clears throat> a graveyard, and I was going in at like 
I go out at eleven o'clock, get out at seven a.m. and I and even on Saturdays. Wait, it's this a, was the airport. Drive? The, yeah, okay. over at the airport, and and I get out at seven a.m. and I go straight from there, like straight to church, and go play. And it wasn't like like I was dead. It was like, dude, I I love to play, man. So this is and, and yeah, like that's and, the thing, like you. you you could be in traffic and you're like, oh, I still gotta go to church and play music. Or like, oh, I still gotta go to the gym. You're like, all right, let's get this workout going. Let's go play this music. Like, you know, how, like last time we were talking, bro, sometimes it could be, you know, 12 p.m. when I'm at work and I'm already visualizing myself at the gym and what I'm gonna hit. Yeah. You know, and it's, that's, that's my motivation when it comes to my, I consider it a hobby. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But my motivation in life is setting my parents free from working, bro. Like, yeah, that's my main goal, bro. Like, the past year, dude, I've noticed. I know I, I don't have to worry about myself and Jody. Yeah. But it's always been like, um, I see my parents suffer a lot through work, you know, like. They not suffering in a way where, damn, bro, didn't have enough money to feed us. Never, yeah. never, never, never. Yeah. At least my dad and my mom never showed that to me. Mm-hmm. You know, who knows? And they're at. Yeah. But my biggest motivation right now is letting them retire, buying their home, and for them to relax, bro, because they deserve it. Pretty yeah. sure your parents deserve it. I know you're. Yeah. I know CJ, everybody is like my brother, like we've been with each other since kindergarten. Yeah. So he knows my <coughs> uh, direct family, I know his direct family. You know, and I think that's that's why I bust my ass off every day, bro. Yeah. And I've always told myself, if I never get to I don't I don't like to think negative, but you have to Look at the positives and negatives, cause you don't know. Yeah, you gotta look at both sides. You know, I'm more on the positive side, but you have to look at both sides. Yeah. So I always say, okay, you know what? If I don't get to that point, I still want to have enough money to where they, hey son, can you send me a hundred bucks? Yeah. Yeah, mom, don't trip. Yeah, I got, yeah, you. I got you. you. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like my grandparents, their kids, bro, are shady. You know, yeah. I'm pretty sure my family's going to listen to my sister's cousins. All of our families are going to listen to get a call after this, but like, but all it's, right, But bro. it's straight up. Yeah. They, they, you know, last year they, my grandma got really sick. We prayed that, you know, she stayed with us. My mom, one of my aunts and my uncles, and my other aunt. I don't even want to say my motherfuckers have seven kids, bro. Where was everybody at? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And right now, you know, that's my biggest motivation, bro. It's, and life is before me, before buying my own house, before I'm straight, and I want to make sure they're straight. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Obviously. You have to be straight yourself to set them straight, too. You obviously, know? you know. If God blesses me and Jordan with the kid, things might change. Yeah. Because now you have to look over your kids, your right. own kids. Yeah, I'm sorry. But still, yeah. like as of now, since I don't have that blessing yet, I want my parents to be straight, bro. Like that's my one motivation in life, yeah. to be honest with you, bro. Yeah. And I'm out. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching this part of the episode. If you guys would like to hear the rest of the episode, Go ahead and tune in on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. We're going to have the links to those on the description below. Please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments, your thoughts. And please subscribe, guys. Till next time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. guys. Peace. Peace. Later.